All right, everybody. All right, this is Zane from Really Easy AI, and it's been a little bit since I've messed with spreadsheets. Um, I did the Google Sheets a while back and showed you how to use uh, OpenAI or ChatGPT rather with that. And this time I want to do kind of the same thing, only with Excel. So I'm using Excel 2021, which is the last desktop version of Excel. Uh, and uh, I want to walk you through what you're going to need to do. And I'm going to give you the code to do it, obviously. But I wanted functions that would go not just to ChatGPT, right, OpenAI, but also to Anthropic's Claude and to Google's Gemini. So I'm going to give you code for all of that. Uh, in this session. So you'll find it on my GitHub. Uh, its uh, link is in the description so you can grab the code. And let me show you how to set everything up. So first things first, let's assume you've got a spreadsheet open. Well, make darn sure you do file, save as, and save that spreadsheet, not as a spreadsheet, but uh, or an Excel workbook, but as an Excel macro enabled workbook. Got to make sure you're saving it as an Excel macro enabled workbook, XLSM, because if you do not, you will be in trouble. So you can see here, I've, I've done one already. Uh, we can call this whatever we want. We'll call it, uh, originally it was going to be ChatGPT, but now it's everything. So we'll call it uh, Excel LLM uh, goodness, or Excel LLM code examples. How about that? Okay, so make sure it uh, you've got the right uh, extension .xlsm, and assuming you have that, then you uh, need to enable your developer tab uh, on your on your ribbon. Now, the way you do that, you go to File, uh, then you go to or go to Options because I don't have enough screen space. So go to File, go to Options, and Customize ribbon, and then you'll see developer right there. It will not be checked by default. You'll need to check it. You'll get a nice green box, and that's that. Once it's checked, click on OK, and now you'll have the developer tab. Once you have the developer tab, then click on developer, and then we're going to open up a Visual Basic, the VB editor. It's amazing after all these years, it's still VB. Um, and then from here, you're not interested in sheet or workbook. What you want to do is you want to go to insert module, insert module, and that'll insert a code module we can put in. Now, before you do your code though, we're going to need a couple of references. So let me walk you through that real quick. So you need to go to tools and references. And so the two references we're going to need are going to be the uh, when HTTP request, and I believe that's under Microsoft of memory serves, because they kind of bury it. I think it's Microsoft when HTTP request. Let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Scrolling on down. This is the only painful part. The rest of it's pretty easy. Um, there it is. Win uh, Microsoft Win HTTP Services version 5.1. So check that box. And then the other thing you're going to need, because we use regular expressions, is you're going to need the VB Script regular expressions library, which I think is down here. Let's see. I think it's in. Hopefully it's down in the V's. Nope, it is not. Okay, well, we're going to have to look for it then. I forget where it was, but we'll find it. So maybe it's in Microsoft. It's lurking around here somewhere. This is the only part that sucks. This thing's such a pain in the ass. Uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. Microsoft Visual Studio. Oh, here we go. Microsoft. It's right here. Microsoft VB Script Regular Expressions 5.5. So uh, you'll need those two. So you need Microsoft VB Script Regular Expressions 5.5, which actually comes up first if you're scrolling down. And then you're going to need the uh, Win HTTP Services version 5.1. Make sure you have those. Click on OK. Then the only thing you need to do is take the code I give you that's in my GitHub, uh, copy it, paste it. Each one of these things, let me kind of walk you through what's going on. So I've, I've called each function according to, you know, the model that you want to use. So ChatGPT, Claude, 
and then um, Gemini. And each one is calling the cheapest model in them. So ChatGPT is GPT-35 Turbo. Claude is, um, uh, should be in here, ha Haiku. And then uh, Gemini is Pro. So uh, I think that's the cheapest model in Gemini. I can't recall. Gemini's kind of been the redheaded stepchild after their little faux pas not too long ago. But anyway, all right, so once you have this, click on the Save button. It should save it. Uh, you can close it if you want to. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and I'm not going to close it because you may need to do some troubleshooting. So just uh, go back to your spreadsheet now. And what you should be able to do then is find a cell. I'll just go here to B2. Type equals. Start typing. And there's ChatGPT. We'll start with ChatGPT and we'll say, um, tell me what a penguin is. In uh, 50 words uh, or less. I'm just keeping it small because it's kind of a pain once it gets too wordy. But you can make it as big as you want. I've tested it to all kinds of sizes. So there we go. I'll close that up. Let me just grab that part. Oh, never mind. It's already run. There it goes. Yay! <laughs> there was much rejoicing. So you can see it working there. Um, I'll go ahead and implement uh, a little bit of. Uh, word wrapping here so we'll do a little word wrap uh, so we'll wrap text and then I guess I can format auto fit row height format auto fit column width Ooh, no that's no that's no way no I want that a little more there we go okay so that's cool so there you go I guess yeah it's kind of fit there all right so that's uh, chat GPT now let's do um, Claude so equals Claude same thing um, tell me what a penguin is uh, in uh, 50 words or less and you know there we go boom and there it is and so I'll implement uh, I'll go ahead and do the uh, word wrap on that and we're good and then last but certainly not uh, least we will do well actually least for me but anyway we'll do Gemini and uh, tell me what a penguin is in 50 words or less. And boom. All right, do a little word wrap action on that. Uh, whoops, there we go. And you're good to go. Ta da! So there you have it. So all three work as expected. Everything's fine. You can now play with it, do whatever you want. And anytime you want to use this in any spreadsheet, just Convert the spreadsheet to a macro-enabled spreadsheet, save as, right? Um, and then pop in this code and bam, you've got three functions. You can use ChatGPT or uh, Claude or uh, Gemini or mix it up between the three. I, that, I, I really wanted to enable you guys to be able to use any model, any of the big three anyway. Uh, now, just a side note, I'm sure it's obvious, but I put my keys in here. I will be revoking these keys as soon as I publish this, so you know, you're welcome to try my keys, but they ain't gonna work. Uh, beyond that, um, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm really trying to, to um, grow the channel, and by the way, uh, I need to shill. Uh, please uh, subscribe, especially subscribe if you can. Um, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, we're very close, we're at 956. So I need your help to get there. And if you like the content, of course, like and comment. I would love that as well. Helps the algorithm. Anything helps, man. I'm just a, I'm, I, I like to joke, I'm just the organ grinder on the street going ding, 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 ding. So the, the only tips I get from you guys are essentially, um, you know, the, the subscribes, the likes, and the comments usually. Uh, granted, there's super thanks and some other stuff I've done, but those are mostly just for fun. So anything you can do, very helpful. Let me know what you think. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.